And the videos just keep on covering today's transfer deadline day. So loads is happening. Scott Carson. Yes, the Scott Carson was signed. There's a video about that over there. Leroy Sane, sadly, uh, was confirmed to have an ACL. And now we've signed Pedro Paro. A terrible Spanish pronunciation. I apologize. We signed him from Girona. This very exciting young uh, right back. I want to say thank you, though, to Unibet for sponsoring this channel. The wonderful people over at Unibet. This is the last, the second to last video that they're doing for me. So if you want to help me out massively, go and click the link in the description. Read some of their transfer pieces, some of their vlogs. It's absolutely fantastic. Loads of great writers over there, including some City writers too. But today we're going to talk about uh, this new lad that we've signed, this 19-year-old highly rated uh, Spanish right back. Uh, basically, he's a Spanish under 21 international. Um, and we got him from Girona. Now, obviously, that was never going to be a hard transfer to complete. But this guy seems to be really, really good. Really, genuinely good. I've done a bit of research. I actually heard about this yesterday before it broke by someone that I know. Um, and I've been looking at him ever since then. Uh, and we got him for around, sort of quoted some people 12 million euros, some people saying 5.5 million. All I know is that we've got him for a, a pretty decent price. And he's going to go on loads of Real Valor Delete. Uh, who are obviously now in La Liga. Girona actually went down or so. Um, it's, it's a really weird situation. Pedro Porro uh, actually got his chance when, uh, when, when Girona left to Stuttgart. And now, weirdly, Porro's gone. Uh, to follow the lead and Girona's has come back so, uh, back in for Mafeo Mafeo's got his chance now he's gone so it's like a really weird swings and roundabout situation and what do we know about this guy well uh, he's got a lot of La Liga experts including David Cartledge from ESPN a guy I did the Rodri video with go and watch that if you haven't already uh, very excited by him uh, basically uh, David Cartledge said um this is an excellent deal for City. He was genuinely uh, a player, a revelation last season at just 19 years old in the Liga and he's won a major potential now it makes sense, obviously, just to immediately learn him out and maintain his progression with regular minutes. But uh, basically, according to college, once again, Paro's already played in a 3 5 2 system, so he's well versed as playing as a wing back. Um, he can feature as a regular right back, of course. He's quick, combative, and extremely, extremely offensive minded. Uh, and if it works out, City possess another talent. And if not, we can just sell him. Uh, basically, last season, uh, he burst onto the scene with loads of exceptionally lively and skillful performances. I've done that thing where you go and watch the YouTube clips as well. And what I see is actually a guy, weirdly, who reminds me of uh, Joa uh, Cancelo, our new guy. Cancelo, I'm never going to get that right. <laughs> I'll keep trying to get it right, but I keep getting it wrong. Uh, but he reminds me of him. And now everyone's everyone saying, like, oh, is he going to be another loan player that we get and you never see him again? I don't really care, to be honest. It doesn't make any difference. Either way, we probably won't lose money on this guy. We'll make a profit on him of some kind. Uh, and he seems genuinely very, very exciting, like a really exciting and skillful player. Um, one that a lot of Spanish teams are looking at. A lot of people generally had interest in him. The City have got in there first. We've got him back to Valladolid, where hopefully uh, he can impress once again Liga grow and grow and maybe like you know in a couple of years he could be ready to be a first team player Kyle Walker obviously has got a long way to go yet and as has Cantillo but like in general um we're in no rush I really like it when we do sweep up these talents and give him a chance but the one thing about this guy is that we've signed him from a La Liga team when he was doing well so this is one of those things where we got him exceptionally cheap because he's one of our clubs at Girona um, and we get to watch him uh, grow once again in a league that's really valuable he's already proved himself uh, of course he's raw of course he's got loads to learn but this one um, seems a little bit more exciting than some of those random ones you get where it's like I don't know, like from a second division team in Colombia or something like that. This one has a little bit more legs. He's literally played in La Liga. I think I saw one game when he was fantastic against Barcelona as well on the highlights when he was giving them a torrid time. So skillful and so, so fast. So, so fast, which is really good. And he's a decent size, you know, physically. He's like 5'11 or something like that. He's not a small lad uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so this is one to keep an eye on. Uh, so it's not like... Loads to report on this in general. Uh, he's very, very exciting. He played like 20 of, I think it was like 30 odd games last season. Um, either way, he's very versatile, very skillful, can play as a winger, uh, and he's got a very, very promising future. All I know is that all the Spanish kind of experts are really excited by this guy. And if they're excited by a flying Spanish fullback, that's enough for me to warrant this move in general because uh, it's one of those like dropping the ocean stuff for this between five and 10 million quid. Absolutely nothing. It could be worth considerably more than that one day. I like this look strategy it's easy to get carried away and all that kind of stuff but we don't have to worry about it now watch him develop over in La Liga and hopefully one day we we'll have a play that we can bring back or not just sell you know we're, we're literally just uh, spreading our little kind of Man City like I don't know roots everywhere around Europe and getting all these players and one of them one day is going to become worth absolute loads of be world class and that's the beauty of this thing anyway guys just some quick thoughts on there on Pedro Porro uh, City have also confirmed uh, that Luke Bolt has gone alone to Luton Town good luck to him he had an indifferent spell at Wickham but fingers crossed he can get 
get some more game time there. I'll do a video very soon, probably later tonight, about City's transfer window. For now, though, I'm going to rest my voice for an hour or two, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you make of this signing in the comments below. It's not one for the first team for now, but it's one to keep a very close eye on. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, like, comment, go watch the Sane video, go watch the Carson video, go watch the Cancelo signing video. There's loads on the channel at the moment, and I'll see you soon.